know that this was an old riverbed and there weren't stones here, they were boulders. Gardenton was a thriving community in the 20s and 30s with some 27 businesses in operation. However, with the poor agricultural land, many children had to leave and seek employment elsewhere and therefore our community suffers their loss. Many business and professional people come from this area, including a multimillionaire. We are very happy to have a lot of these people come back and seek their old friends and neighbors at our festival. We use the middle of July as our Ukrainian festival because it is a big Ukrainian holiday and therefore we use the 12th of July or the weekend thereafter. We have a short program for you this afternoon. The music is supplied by the Fraser River Boys. The first entertainment for you this afternoon is the Vitrats dancers. Vitrats are the senior dancers of the Rossdale School of Ukrainian Dance. The school is located north of Winnipeg in the rural municipality of St. Andrews. The school was established 14 years ago and enjoys a present and escalating enrollment of 140 students. The Kratz Dance Ensemble is a group of eager, energetic, and exciting young dancers who captivate audiences wherever they perform. The Kratz has been instrumental in attracting standing room only crowds at the Kiev Pavilion at Winnipeg's Poplarama for the past 11 years. The Kratz, the name signifies a gentle breeze, but these young men and women can dance up a storm. The Kratz has earned a reputation for themselves in the school, and it has been said of this group, they display enthusiasm, professionalism, and provide high energy, quality performances. In 1990, Vitrats enchanted audiences at the San Diego Ukrainian Festival. They appeared at the AARP convention in Orlando, Florida in 1989, and appeared at Expo, Expo 86, where they represented Manitoba and delighted audiences of thousands. The group has traveled to Ontario to perform for the Faselfa Chabon concert in Thunder Bay and has appeared in numerous other functions throughout Manitoba, such as the Morgan Corn and Apple Festival, Gimli Ukrainian Festival, Cook's Creek Festival, Oak Bank, Nivervale, and on and on the list goes. They have also performed at various conventions, etc., through their affiliation with the Winnipeg Folk Art Council. Please welcome the Vitrats dancers.
Cherry is 17 years old and will be entering grade 12 this fall at Shevchenko School. She has lived in the Circle Sundown area. <laughs> She has lived in the Circo Sundown area all her life, only a few miles from where her great-grandfather first settled after immigrating from Ukraine at the turn of the century. She has grown up singing, surrounded by Ukrainian music, both in church and at home. It was a great thrill for her to travel to Ukraine last Christmas and sing some of these songs with her new friends. I hope you enjoy them as well. We are proud to have her entertained for you. Thank you. 
uh, future as a Ukrainian, dance, a Ukrainian singer. She's really good. Would you please give her another round of applause? We're getting ready for another inter uh, entertainment for you by the Vitrats dancers. In the meantime, uh, the dance starts uh, tonight at 7 o'clock. However, the Ukrainian National Home, which is across the street, is open at 6 o'clock. Uh, they will be serving supper there if you so choose. And we really would like to see you there tonight. Tomorrow we start at 10 o'clock in the morning with an open air church service. And we'll take a break for dinner or barbecue, whatever you choose. And the program then starts at 1.30 in the afternoon.
Тернакові приїхали чи десь з чужого краю. Звайте, звати. Не дуже далеко. Сандаун, так далі. Тебе я вам трошки ще забавляти, знаєте, де ви трошки музику грати, а ви хто хочете гуляти, можете гуляти. А як хто хоче слухати, то треба трошки слухати. Hello, Dave. Nice to see you made it again this year. Now we're going to entertain you for a few minutes, give you a little bit of the sights and sounds that will be featured tonight down at the party. And uh, yeah, about 7 o'clock down at the hall, a lot of dancing, a lot of good food. They even tell me that they've got a no mosquito sign there. So uh, you don't have to worry about mosquitoes. Whoops. Not so much for that theory. They say they took all the mosquitoes down to Comarno. You know where Comarno is? Yeah, you do? Okay. Did you come from Comarno? You did? Okay. Kaj tam je komari duži veliki, ki taj borone. Kaj beru tudi ki rušneču, taj idu na komari. A prinesu do domu, k tomu kaj tudi barete, peče in bodo studenec robiti z njene. Ki kaj pripekne. Med kjeh nimajem tudi, ki to vše malenki. Znajte, ki še da še tam troške kusajem, a jak že pokusajem, s kim ćemo kusati, tudi začinajte tančevati. Tak. Kupim bacon a Ну, 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 ну,
to Pebble Lavilla.
Jarosław Wisłowicz się zobowiała i coś mi... Каже наша пані господарка, що хоче пару слів з людей сказати, я кажу, що час, аби вас знову домолитися. Пані господарка, знову прошу, ми маємо один слів від нашого організатора тут за останні кілька хвилин, тому тут вона знову, ваша гостя для сьогодні. Дякую. Це добре сказано, що ви будете слухати сьогодні на танці в холі across the street. And the end to every concert, of course, is the grand finale, and that's the Hopak. And the, the Trats dancers are ready to give you their best.
Nice to see you again. Well, we're back here for another few minutes. We'll play a few more numbers here just to get you into the mood and swing of things for tonight. So get all the fellows back here. We'll do a few more instrumentals and a few more numbers for you. This first one here is in dance. If any of you have ever been down to uh, this Beaudesert Hazel Ridge area, they've got a group of dancers there. Boy, did they ever dance well. You know, as a matter of fact, you think they were trained by the, sun, the sundown and the Vita dancers, they danced so well. At any rate, they've got a dance that they do up there. It's called a heel toe. And when they do it, you know, it's like one of these performances, the RCMP ride has, you know, a second class to it. So you know what I'm talking about. Музыка
все хранится, все гуляет голод. Дуже вам дякую, красно. Теперь мы хотим трошки больше, скорше заграти тут ту народную песню. Хай колись тут не далеко, не далеко, тут коло Гарни, тут туда коло Штютберн, а это трошки далі коло Роза, мали стайню, тут, там люди все сходили и гуляли, казали, что называли Барн Дэнс. Это такой Барн Дэнс номер, знаете? sitting out in the crowd, he comes out from Lorette, and uh, he's been uh, fiddling for many years, probably as many as I've been fiddling, <laughs> and if you know me, I've been fiddling around for a long time, and after I stopped fiddling around, I started playing music. <laughs> At any rate, his name is Dave, and Dave is out to all these cultural events all the way from, well, from one border, actually from coast to coast. He gets out quite a bit. He packs all his belongings in the back of his half ten, and he likes to get around where there's good music, where there's good beer gardens, that's where Dave is. So we'd like to dedicate this next number to Dave there. One called Ishumeti Hudet. He used to hear it down around Pansy, Manitoba, many years ago. He used to live up around Gruntel, not too far from there. He used to go to all the Kreisky festivals up there. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Yeah, that was strictly for these Grunfeld Ukrainian mixed with uh, kind of a German element to it there, Dave. We got one more for you like to do. Here's Alec coming up to do it for you. to all the young Kazakhs in the crowd here. Put you, Moli Kozakir.
shop we should be hushed and thank you everyone. We'll be uh, we'll play one more number, and after that we're going to close up shop here for a little while, and that is give everybody a chance to visit the beer gardens, have a bite to eat, and a big dance tonight down at the hall here, not too far away. So we'll see you all there. We'll be there at seven o'clock. So get yourself ready for that. Seven o'clock? Well, that's early. What time do you intend to finish? Who knows? Tomorrow morning? Who knows? Yeah, we are in the morning. We're going to have fun tonight, you betcha. Rocking and rolling all night long. Pokraiske. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to take a few minutes here to uh, visit the beer gardens, visit a few other places, and then we're going to set up shop down at the hall. Uh, the program uh, is for mainly this uh, surrounding area. Uh, for the Circo area, if you are from Circo, we have uh, Mrs. Ann Kaczorowski. For the Sundown area, we have Matt Druniak. For Tolstoy, there is Claudia Luke. Uh, for Gardenton area, there's, uh, uh, this year it's uh, changed and I'm hoping that Mr. Carlotti will do it. However, for the Gardenton area, you could also give me a call. Uh, for the Stuartburn area, there's Roman Buds. And any of you who would like to see some of your family recognized with these scrolls, uh, we really would appreciate uh, your information. Uh, the information uh, that you give us uh, would be very nice to do it separately for your mother or your grandfather or your grandmother, because uh, if you do them together, it takes away from your mother's side of the family. So all this information is very uh, necessary for us before, because we would like to make a ledger out of all of the information we have and any people seeking families would be able to come to the museum and see if they could pick up any of this information. So we would really appreciate any of the information you have from the areas that your uh, grandfathers or great grandfathers have come from. To, uh, to honor the pioneers uh, this afternoon we have Mr. Juba. And I would like to have call him to the stage to present these scrolls to the pioneers that we are honoring for this year. For the Tolstoy area, the uh, pioneer that we are honoring is Michael Arsani, and to pick up the scroll is his son Paul. She was a midwife in the Arbaca area and uh, for some of the uh, infants that she uh, brought into this world, the count that they have is somewhere way over a hundred. To pick up the scroll for uh, Don Krakotic is Betty Carrier. Another pioneer from Tolstoy is Dmitry Kozak. And to pick up the school is his daughter, Mary Ribou. For the Gardenton area is Danilo Pushtar, and to pick it up is his grandson, Nick Crelotti. And for the Kelianto area, Todor Gushiak, and to pick it up is his great niece, Mary Melnichik. I'm not supposed to do this, ladies and gentlemen, but nevertheless, you know, for every program that goes on, every undertaking, there's always a leader, somebody that devotes their, all their time to make sure that the project becomes a success. As far as this uh, Garden Museum is concerned, this whole area, there's no doubt about that one person is Linda Sauchik. Let's give Linda a nice big hand. In addition to that, I'd like to make a little presentation to her on your behalf. It's presented to Linda Sauchik on behalf of all present for her very valuable contribution in the preservation of Ukrainian heritage and recognition 
of the pioneers and their sons and daughters who made an improvement to the quality of life in Canada. Linda, the very best. There is one other one here. I don't know if Elsie's here, the owner of the Tolstoy Hotel. Well, we have one here. It's their 50th anniversary. They made a fantastic contribution. And I'll ask Linda to present this to Elsie. Now, with that, I know I should have spoken in Ukraine, but I'll tell you a little incident that took place when I was elected mayor, and I went to the North End to a function, to a church function, which was just simply loaded with people. And the, uh, the chairman, who was the father at that time, and he turned around and said that he was now going to call on our Ukrainian mayor. Yet Well, I got up and I said, Mr. Mayor, I got up and of course I spoke in Ukraine. And my Ukraine is pretty well fractured with the Canadian aspect. And as I was talking, right in front was seated a mother, her father, and a little child about six years old. And as I was talking, this little girl nudged her mother and she said, Wien Ukrainisch? <laughs> so with that, I want to say, uh, Linda says to me, you stand up to be seen, you speak up to be heard, but sit down to be appreciated. And before I sit down to be appreciated, I would like to introduce the MC for you for this afternoon is Mr. Matt Drowniak. Mr. Drowniak is a Ukrainian teacher at the Shevchenko School in Vida. Uh, is very knowledgeable in the language. Uh, he sings. I don't know if he'll dance for you, but maybe if you applauded him very well, he might even dance for you. Mr. Drowniak. Thank you, Linda. Vitaimo! Ya pobijai vam shi ya tanchivati ne budu. Bo zaeche stena ne ya dosit mocna. Duzi priyemna vas bachite znovu čeho roku. Jak bachite, tu ljude troka hodja i tako vse holvu tremajit i divljice na zahi. To nje to, što vitr zvite, Ale my tylko w Radoszczu mamy, że ludzie w Radzie, czy w Pogoda, czy nie, czy Chmary, mi się nie idą. Dalsze, jak wy widzicie, my swoje komary tutaj poprzewiezowali. A one tutaj z tego roku wrodliwi, że jak się przekładą, jak was wlipia, to daj Bóg Borany. I would like to welcome all of you to the Garden Festival. It's nice to see you here again. I would like to just know what uh, our uh, crowd composes of. For, uh, first of all, we are very privileged to have a guest from the Ukraine. My name is Hostia of Ukraine. This is Dr. Mikolai Pidlowski, Sela Popich. Pane Doctor, David, Prošu Ustate, a my vas prevetali po Kadalidejskomu. Duži prijemno bačite vas tu. Vybačajte, my govorimo zvonovno, ale... Trochę po angielsku, a trochę po angielsku, to tak jak... Tam może ktoś wam może przekłaść, że moje kotwi bajki. I have a story about, uh, you know, mosquitoes. We've had a lot of problems in here. And one of the farmers was telling me the mosquitoes were so bad. He's got these big Aberdeen Angus black cattle. You know, they're, they're real big ones. And uh, this uh, bull, a big one, uh, he went and... Uh, it seemed that mosquitoes just loved him. They just covered him solid. So uh, somebody told him that if he would get a, a rooster, one of these phantom uh, roosters, they aren't very big, but uh, they're sure very energetic. And they'll eat all those mosquitoes. And uh, then, uh, this way uh, his cat will have a chance to, uh, to breathe. So this rooster, uh, he really went to running there by that bull because he knew where the feed was good. Like I know where the holes in the pair here are. And when he came running in there, these old mosquitoes got scared and they just 
took off at the same time, but they forgot to pull their stain uh, out, and they lifted that bull right up. Now, if you ever heard the cock and bull story, this is it. Okay, let's get on with the program and uh, forget our bite here. Перший ансамбл, що ми будемо мати сьогодні, що буде танцювати, я зараз свої папері, тут кажу, порядку складу. Вітреч, our senior dance, uh, dancers of Rossdale School of Ukrainian Dance. The school is located north of Winnipeg in the rural municipality of St. Andrews. The school was established 14 years ago and enjoys at present an escalating enrollment of 140 students. 140 students who have to learn the Ukrainian tank now. There is no one who died in Ukraine, Mr. Doctor. We stretch. Ukraine, uh, dance Ensemble is a group of eager, energetic and exciting young dancers who captivate audiences wherever they perform. We stretch has been instrumental in attracting standing room only crowds at the Cave Pavilion at the uh, Winnipeg Hope Florama for the past 11 years. We stretch, the name signifies a gentle breeze, but these young men and women can dance up a storm. We stretch has or, uh, earned a reputation for themselves in the school and has been said of this group display enthusiasm, professionalism and high uh, energy quality performances. In 1990, we stretch enchanted audiences at the San Diego Ukrainian Festival. They appeared at the AARP convention in Orlando, Florida in 1989 and appeared at Expo 86 where they represented Manitoba and delighted audiences of thousands. The group has traveled to Ontario to perform for the Veselka Chapan uh, concert in Thunder Bay and has appeared in numerous other functions throughout Manitoba. They have also performed at various conventions through, uh, through their affiliation with the Winnipeg Folk Arts Council. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like you to welcome Vitrech Tanak Hotsu. Hotsulka mia porodela, hotsulka mia mate. Tepera mi prepadaje hotsulučku brate. Hotovi? Thank you. 
Let's give another good round of applause. Я думал, что эта машинка тут не пинна, тут горут, и я себе сяду. А то нема дурнейки. How many people do we have in here in the audience that are not from Canada, from other countries? Let's see your hands. Hey, a few hands. Let's give them a good uh, warm Canadian garden and welcome. Uh, you folks can let us know if you want any of our mosquitoes for transplanting. Excellent stuff. Вы знаете, здесь вообще два куме. Тай, ты один кум каже. Вы знаете куме, что я себе думал, что я вас не считал человека, что не чеченка. А цей кай, ви знаєте, кума, я би казав, що штани. Бо є багато працюв, що можна пісти без жінки, а не без штанів. І я би казав, що ви не йшли тут ковліст без штанів. О, у вас би комарі жбіли і пойду на ібі. Наша друга точка на програмі. Это я санчевецкий ансамбл с Виннипегу. As powerful as the English, it is named for Orlan, Ukrainian folk ensemble of uh, Winnipeg, has spread its eagle, uh, its wings, and in a short period of time has established itself firmly as a leader among today's Ukrainian performing ensemble. It represents a generation of young Canadians who strive to maintain a high standard of excellence in their performance of Ukrainian folk dance. Orland is committed to the preservation of the tradition of Ukrainian folk dance, music, and wardrobe. Through Orland, countless performances uh, over the past 17 years, tens of thousands of individuals have had the opportunity to share in the glorious traditions which comprise our rich Ukrainian heritage. Orlan has performed throughout Manitoba in various cities in Canada, including Regina, Saskatoon, Ottawa, Vancouver. American cities which uh, have been part of the tours include Fargo, Boston, Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Los Angeles. In 1987, Orlan performed in, the, in Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories. In July 1988, Orlan performed a gala concert in Hong Kong and five days later was the first Western ensemble to perform a concert in Gansu in the People's Republic of China. In December of this year, Orlan travels to Florida at the invitation of Disney World, where Orlan is the featured ensemble at the Disney World Epoch Center on December 30th, 1991. Future plans include a return engagement in the Orient and a tour of Ukraine at the invitation of the Society Ukraina. The ensemble numbers 40 dancers. Orlan is under the auspices of the Ukrainian National Federation. Director and choreographer is Dr. Taras Babek. Musical accompaniment will be provided by uh, Mr. Ted Comer. Unfortunately, he is someplace in uh, Wyoming. He will not be able to be here today, but however, we'll hear him on tape. And this is a real comrade. No doubt, if you don't know, we have a lot of Ukrainian comrades. Wardrobe mistress is Patricia Babic. Ladies and gentlemen, Orlan will perform Open with Kozachok. This will be followed by the children's duet featuring Andrea and John Babic. And the third dance is Hussle Divide featuring Dabi. Odeski and Taras Shapot. Ladies and gentlemen, Orlan!
čelvičia, jį daisys čiuduoja teščią maja raką na jie zeitsį. Atsaisys dėvuvau, ką į jaksą moži, jam ir uzmai į jak, raksį moži užtremati na jį jį zeitsį. Ok. The next group is the Susitka Dance Club of Southern Manitoba, Sanashi Domashni, Sanchiretti. Consists of dancers from the communities of Rosa, Rosa River, Vaita and Piney, ranging in ages from Piach, okay, 5 to 14 years. The club has, was started about 10 years ago in Rosa with the help of donations, strong well members and teachers, hard-working students and parents, which led to the name Suchitka, meaning friendly neighbors. Знаете, это наша песня, что у Сусиды Хаса Билла, у Сусиды Джин Камила. Presently, the club meets at the Rosa River Park Clubhouse weekly during the month of September to May to practice and put together a spring recital consisting of a variety of dances which originate from different regions of the Ukraine. Their current instructor is Roseanne Sirozaska uh, from, sorry, butchered that name, from uh, Winnipeg. The dancers are divided into three groups, junior, intermediate, and senior. And this past June, they traveled to the Tulan Veselka competition for the first time and came home with medals. The senior group got a gold medal and the intermediate brought home a bronze. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Sosipka dancers. <laughs> и зараз все буде гаразд. I have learned, uh, I was to uh, one occasion and there was a speaker and he got up in there and he said, you know what, what, I don't know what to say. So somebody from the crowd said, well, tell all you know, it won't take long. He says, yeah, come to think of it, I'll tell uh, about uh, all the four of us know and it will take the same amount of time. Ei, mai vidu tu skašai veliku. You know, I saw a, a while ago a fellow came there to the Kochma, down on the south side, and he said he wanted, uh, he told the guy, you give me six whiskeys. And he says, I want you to line them up in order. So the bartender gave him six whiskeys and lined them up. The guy has uh, number one, number three, number five. And then he gets up and starts walking away. The guy says, hey, how about the other? And he says, well, my doctor told me that I could have an odd drink. But the others I won't touch. 